Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to Pixel Thorn for suggesting this video. Yeah, thank you very much, Pixel Thorn, for suggesting this video. Yeah, and I'll see you in the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chick Gamer here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a part that if you step on, it's going to give you a sword. Before the, the tutorial starts, I just want to give a shout out to Jordy Plays YT, aka my friend Adam, because he started a YouTube channel and he's posting. Roblox videos just like me and uh, he's posted a few videos already um, on Roblox Studio tutorials uh, and he's also going to be doing gameplay videos so make sure you go subscribe to him and turn the post notifications on so then you'll never miss out when he uploads a new video so yeah let's get straight into the video Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is insert a part inside the workspace. Um, just scale it however you like. It doesn't need to be a block, it could be a spear wedge, cylinder, anything. Um, just add your part in, customize it, uh, anchor it if you want it to stay still, not move. Um, and the next thing that you need to do is go grab yourself a sword. If you've already got a custom made sword that you've just made, great. All you need to do is just rename it to sword and drag it into replicated storage because we're going to be cloning it into our inventory later on. Okay, so once you've customized the part, I'm not going to customize mine because it's just a, it's just an example for the video. And uh, so once you've got that, you can you can name it whatever you want by the way. Uh, so once you've got that, click on the plus next to it and add in a script. Then add in, then type everything that I type. And make sure you get all the capitalization correct because Roblox Studio scripting is case sensitive. So make sure, make sure you get all the capitalization correct. And just type everything that I type. Okay, so it's going to be a time lapse, so it's going to be sped up a little bit. So if you were to slow down, you can change the playback speed uh, down a bit. But yeah, let's get straight into the time lapse. Also, I just noticed here, um, we need to uh, say player player dot backpack. Couldn't find first child there. I just forgot to say dot backpack. So make sure you copy all of this, and it should be the script done. So yeah, let's go and head into the game and test this out. Okay, I've loaded into the game now, and as you can see, I haven't got a sword in my inventory. So if I step on this part, it's going to give me a sword. And if I step on it again, it's not going to give me another one, since I already have one. And because we said um, starter gear and backpack, if you die, you're going to keep it. Just like that. Because if you just said to play dot backpack, then you would loot. Then you would be able to keep the sword until you die. But if you said starter gear, then you'll be able to keep it if you die. Alright, so this is going to be the end of today's tutorial, so if this helps and you want to see videos like this in the future, then make sure you like, subscribe and turn the bell, so then you'll be notified when that video comes out. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!